welcome back to another video. So as you can see based on the title, this video is a little different than anything I have on my channel. And I didn't really know how to start out this video, so I thought I'd sit down. I've had a lot of questions asking, why has it been so long and what's going on? So I thought I'd, you know, sit down and get a little personal and let you guys know a little bit more about me and how we got to the situation. So, for those that don't know, I was born in the Middle East. I was born in a country called Lebanon. And my mom's side's Russian and my dad's side's Lebanese. I'm half and half. And I lived there until I was about eight years old. And in 2001, about six days after 9-11, my dad, my brother, and I moved here to the United States. Now, my dad got a visa that only applied to the children and not to the spouse, his wife, my mother. So they had to make the painful decision to split up the family because times were very hard in Lebanon. They were very tough, but as a little eight-year-old girl, you don't really understand what's going on. So. They split us up and thankfully my aunt and my uncle that live here took us in and um, helped, helped raise us. So a little girl being ripped from her mother's arms is very hard um, because she doesn't have that motherly figure anymore. And when you're little, like I said, you don't understand. You don't know what's going on. You just want to stay in the country, you know, with the family you know and love. And um, thankfully my aunt was my role model growing up and I had that as a... Um, the womanly figure in my life because I was surrounded by a bunch of boys. And um, the last memory I have of my mom, the last time I saw her, was the day I left the airport in Lebanon in 2001. Um, so it's been about 18 years. And the last memory I have of her is just awful. So many good memories have just been gone. Wow. I do think I cried doing this. It's a day I've waited for my entire life. And um, it took this long because when we came here, we applied for a green card. And it took about 14 years to come up in the system, to go through the interview, and to get the opportunity to get a green card. Now, my brother left in 2012 before we were given the opportunity to go through an interview process and so I never had a chance to say goodbye so it's been seven years since I've seen him as well and um, in roughly 2013-14 my dad and I went in for an interview for a green card and we went through the process we waited so long you know the heartache the pain the money the frustration and at the end of it she shook our hand she congratulated us gave us the sealed approval and the signature saying you'll get your green card in three to four weeks um, you know, it's just bad news after bad news. Three weeks went by, four weeks went by, nothing. After the fifth week, we instead received a letter that said, it's been revoked. They took it, they took it back. So at this point, it's just been a lot. A lot of heartache, a lot of pain, and I just, my heart broke, not only for myself, but just for my family, for my dad, he isn't seen his parents, and just as long as his wife, my mom, and so the last memories we have are just, everyone's crying, it's just when you're a kid, memories get blocked and you don't have a choice, and the ones that do stick are the ones that really made an impact. So here we are. I had to reapply for a green card, went through the whole process, waited a couple more years, and went through the process again, went through the interview, got approved again, and this time people were like, yay, you know, you got it, and it's hard to be excited when you've been through the, the pain of it. Um, three weeks went by, and I did get the green card, so here we are, 18 years later, able to leave and go reunite with my mom and my brother, so... Wow, I did not think I was going to cry. <laughs> kind of just winged it. Sorry if it was rambling, but um, it's a day I've waited for my entire life. And I'm just happy that I get this opportunity um, and that I get to do with someone that I love. Jared, behind the camera, thank you. Um, we recently lost a really close friend this week. So just put it into perspective to be thankful for the people we have around us. And 18 years is a long time for things to go wrong and I'm just thankful that everyone's healthy and we're here to experience this so 
I hope that helps understand why it's been so long. <laughs> we have a long 20 to 24 hour day ahead of us. Jared's not excited, but <laughs> we'll get through it. Um, this video is more for me to look back on and remember and for you guys to get to know me. So sit back and enjoy the video. So we just got onto the plane. Everything's been easy and quick so far. Flight's on time. We have the next 13 hours in these two seats right 13 here. 13 hours, which is like... Let's check in. We should be in Turkey next. Okay, so we have arrived after 13 hours. And I have to say the airline, Turkish Airlines themselves, was amazing. They really try to make it feel like at home. They give you socks, slippers, blankets. Dope TV. On this flight for 13 hours, Jared had a kid around five, six years old behind him, constantly kicking his chair and throwing a tantrum and yelling and then trying to steal his pillow over and over and hey. over again. <laughs> so Jared had to turn around and hey, give him a dust say, I didn't sleep. I haven't slept for 24 yeah. hours. <laughs> we survived. We have an hour and a half flight to Odessa. And then we're done. And then we're done. So 16 we'll hours of travel. Catch you guys in Odessa. <laughs> okay, so... Things didn't go as planned. We got to the airport and Jared, being a US citizen, went right through customs. And unfortunately with me, they had me sit for half an hour and get questioned. And because I'm not a Ukrainian citizen and I'm not a US citizen, I'm a Lebanese citizen with a green card. So we cried off camera <laughs> and hugged <laughs> and exchanged flowers. But unfortunately, didn't get that moment. They wouldn't let us film either. And they I tried to. Film because yeah. they were very strict. Welcome to Ukraine. It's very strict, but yeah. we're here. We're reunited. My brother's yes. coming. He's bringing the car around. Yeah. Very excited. This is my mom, everyone. Svetlana. Svetlana. Isn't she so beautiful? She is gorgeous. She's so beautiful. Now you see where Christina gets it. And then we'll show you my brother in a second. Yeah, she speaks very little English, yes. so she's probably going to be very quiet. But it doesn't matter. She's so <laughs> in the video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he blew it. So this is my older brother Kareem. Look at him. If everyone Dude, doesn't know, such a handsome Instagram, family. Kill you guys. <laughs> no, it's gonna be on YouTube. Don't worry, it's just a couple. Yeah, just a couple hundred thousand people, Kareem. All week, you, you got to deal with it. <laughs> so we are here with my family. Oh, my brother's out. My brother's out. <laughs> He's out. Put him on there. Okay, so you can stay, you can stay, I won't film you. So my mom cooked all of this, so we've got a salad with some peppers, cucumbers, tomatoes, onions. All fresh ingredients. Everything's fresh, yeah. yeah. We've got some potatoes with onion and meat underneath, which is very delicious. Yeah, that and cheese too, I think. Yes, right? cheese? cheese? Oh, and yeah. cheese, oh, you're correct, look at you. <laughs> And then we've got the meatballs, yeah. which my mom says they're better than my dad's. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> the beef's getting called out. And then crepes stuffed with um, meat, onions, and you're supposed to eat it with sour cream. So this kitty found outside my family's place. He or she, very chill. Hi. So beautiful, huh? There are a lot of wild cats around here. And so we have actually arrived at the Nemo Resort and this is what our current view looks like. It's a big pool area with the Black Sea right there. You can actually jump in right here into the water or go down to the right for um, like a sandy beach. Up here on the sixth floor there's like a pool, another pool area, a small pool area. So we'll probably check that out later. Um, let me show you guys the room. We have a big bed and then like a closet, a bathroom, a desk and then you know little couch cushions. So. Not too bad, the view's what really gets it. And then right now, we're gonna head out to the beach. So this is right outside the hotel. Kids and adults of all ages playing in the fountain area. And then here actually, a lot of people just lay out right on the ground, surprisingly. There's no sand right here. So we walked a little ways down and it is freaking crowded. Just piles of bodies on top of each other. So we're gonna walk a little farther around and see if we can find uh, some space <laughs> for ourselves. So we found three benches, three <laughs> tiny ones. It is freaking crowded, guys. I mean, bodies to bodies everywhere. Jared's shocked. We've never seen this many people in one area. This is a little, just to feel what it's like. This is a little intense for Jared Bear. It's more like rocks. It's just rocks. Wow, that is cold. Your brother's like, oh, it's warm. 
Yeah, I'm good. Wow. Well, it's super windy out, so it's already like chilly, that is, you know? That is really cool. It's my new motorcycle. Yeah. That looks amazing. It's actually a police. Oh, he's not looking. Yeah, he's not looking where he's going. He rides like you do. <laughs> so here's the port area. My brother says it's like a mini Long Beach port. Why is this important, Jarrett? Because Odessa was basically like a port city. That's how it started to build, right? Is that right, Kareem? You turn that camera right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you accept that or deny that? It was a port city. <laughs> that's how it was built. Yeah, up. that's true. So I found another wild kitty. Oh, I told my brother, he's like, why do you have such a passion for animals? I said, if I lived here, I'd literally take care of every wild dog and cat. I would just be adopting adopting every single one of them and then feeding every single one of them. Just going around with food in my bag. So we have arrived at the downtown area. It's actually really cool. It's got small parts that remind me of like San Francisco, small parts of like North Carolina. Europe. Europe, yeah. It's very nice. <laughs> so we are at Buffalo 99. It's a, like a sports cafe. And we are starting out with some shots because why not? So Mama and I, vodka shots, and the boys, green Mexican. <laughs> I guess it's tequila, green tequila. Hi! Oh my gosh! And he's got he's got nice nice balls on the back too. The malchik. The malchik. He's a boy. So this is these. Oh 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 oh! Why? Oh hello. <laughs> oh hello. Just made friends. Oh oh! I'm not digging into my leg now. Uh oh. Oh no. He's Good job. Good job. So I got like a um, turkey sandwich. Club sandwich. Club sandwich and then with some coleslaw and fries and then my mom got a salad with um, calamari and shrimp so like a seafood salad. She did take one of my sandwiches. So she made fun of me. She's like, why would you get a sandwich? You didn't get that in America. And then immediately he puts down the plate and not 10 seconds later does she grab a sandwich from me. So Jared, holy crappy dude. Uh, got a buffalo steak with, what is that, hash browns on top yeah. with some potato and green beans and on the side and yeah. onions. Oh my god. That Beautiful. Yeah. And then my brother got um, a buffalo burger with some fries and coleslaw. But this meal just looks absolutely amazing. Oh. Cheers, round two. Hey, to meeting family and uh, friends. And getting along and not killing each other. Yay! Cheers. Cheers. Hey, cheers, Mama Dukes. I don't want to. Alright, teens, this. go ahead. I really don't want to. Just drink your shot. Keep going, keep going. Wait, no, let it set in. Let it set in. <laughs> isn't, uh. it, isn't it good? Oh, straight for the coat. <laughs> oh. Ooh, all right, I did it. Yay, bravo, Christina. <laughs> oh, I did it, yay. She acts like it was no big deal. Not a big deal. Oh, I just God. had to swish it down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so our bill, guys, is $1,800. Holy crap. How are we going to afford people. this for poor people? people. Good morning, everyone. Um, so this morning we actually got up super early. It was 6 a.m. It's a beautiful day. It's supposed to be a storm actually today, but we'll see if we even get that. Um, at 6 a.m., there were already people laid out out there. They've been doing yoga for about two and a half hours now. <laughs> um, people are swimming. It's just, it's a beautiful day. So we're gonna go catch some breakfast. I want to show you guys real quick what they have. So check out this section. It's like the pastry dessert my dream section. And then here they've got the champagne with the fruits and some crepes and more sweets. Because why not? The fresh juice station. You've got apple juice and coffee, water, you can have cereal, all these toppings for yogurt, jams, cheeses if that's your preference. I mean it just goes on and on. Breads. And then you've got the meat station, and here's some more options. I got some crepes and scrambled eggs, potatoes, and fresh fruit. So, we are on the sixth floor, a little out of breath because elevators don't work. Yeah. Pool top area. They've got three different pools, I think. 
This is awesome. one with a jacuzzi. Yeah. It's actually very nice. And then there's another pool down there. Look at that view. Just overlooks one over there. the Black Sea. Oh yeah, and then there's one more right on the other side of this uh, restaurant, restaurant at the top. Right. So check it out, guys. My mom has a crap ton of uh, photo albums, just a whole bunch. And we were going through photos showing Jared what I looked like when I was a little kid. Look at that. That's me. This is my brother and I. Look at my haircut. I look like a boy. It's a bull cut, right? Isn't that what it's called? She has a dumb and dumb bull cut. <laughs> I look like She's one of the boys. Lloyd, Lloyd Christmas bull cut. There's my mom and I. That's my dad. These are, um, that's my dad. And then my brother and I. Our passport photos from when we came to the United States. She, this was look, what on my on my passport. Doesn't she look like an evil child? Like she's and going I was up to nothing. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's not <laughs> it's do. not that bad. Come on. There's some more photos. This is um in Lebanon. My family owns some vineyards. So that's my grandpa. Look, haircut. It's back. It's still there. The look, I matched my brother. Can't tell. Am I a girl or a boy? Yeah. This was the Mediterranean Sea. It's actually beautiful, it's very clear. It's hard to come out on the photo, but that's me and my brother. And then, if we fast forward a little, there's a family photo. Oh, look at my parents. Oh, so happy. Oh, look at this family photo, that's guys. <laughs> oh, my brother's up to something not good, because he just smiled. My mom looks like she's completely over this, and I look absolutely bored. This is our family photo. So we left the house and uh, we wanted to go bowling today. My mom's only been once. <laughs> but we're gonna have a family uh, bowling trip. But before then, my brother wanted to show me where the locals go for the beach. So because it was so crowded, uh, our hotel's actually all the way on the other side. It's over there, super far. But um, this is where the locals go and the water's actually cleaner here because there's not as many people. So instead of going bowling, we came back and uh, started eating because Jared's starving. The meatballs and then like salami and her homemade Russian pizza. Uh, salad again, we've got a lot of different types of alcohol here. She actually makes her her own fresh fruit juice, which is really cool. Yeah, there's, All no, right. there's no reason for you Christina's to brothers. No, this is, this is internal documentation. It's not for the internet. Oh, uh, okay. Who's gonna be watching this Teens doesn't know how to drink. If you do this, I'm gonna be watching it. <laughs> Teens doesn't know how to drink. Oh, I drink a drink. all like Ukrainian friends. I'm like, yeah. this is how I know you drink. Yeah. Watch. Yeah. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Mm. What are you doing? Let's go. Uh, this could have been. Orange juice isn't even that good. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, the that's the first problem. Yeah, that's yeah, the first that's problem. The <laughs> okay. Here we go. Uh, do you think you? Wow, the mm. pain. You can see the pain on her face. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, that hurt. That was not normal vodka. I don't know what that was. But that was <laughs> vodka. Not vodka or spirit or alcohol. No, it's vodka. Some crazy Russian vodka. <laughs> Thanks, Kareem. It's like rubbing alcohol. Oh, and that was the So it's 10 o'clock at night, and why not? On a Monday? On a Monday. So we're going to end the night with some bowling. We'll see who wins. I think I've got a really good chance. Let's see how she does. Oh, not bad. <laughs> so far, I'm winning. How's that feel? <laughs> Let's go, Ma. Bye bye. Because my brother doesn't like to be filmed, I'm trying to sneak it in. <laughs> oh, there he is, here he goes. Oh, okay, all right, not bad, not bad, one left. All right, all this talk, let's see if he can do it. Oh, he throws it out far, oh! That's what I got, that's what I got, get on my level. <laughs> All right, Kareem got us crazy shots, vodka, orange juice, to our first time bowling as a family. Hey, cheers. Cheers. All right, so I hate to say, but uh, Jared won this round. 160, and then I came in second, and then my brother 65, and my mom 32. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Honestly, this has been an amazing, an amazing reunion. Aside from being stuck at the airport of Ukraine <laughs> at customs, it literally took an hour, guys, for me to get through. 
Yeah. I handed kind of Jared handed the intro her. There. Jared went through. He handed the lady his U.S. passport. She didn't looked even at ask it, me any questions. Didn't ask him any questions. Nothing. He got through flying colors. Yeah. Then I go next. I hand her my Lebanese passport. And they just like go sit over there and wait. So I go sit in the corner. Literally everyone off our plane has gone through. Everyone in the airport has gone through. It was just yeah. me left. Just, just me. I was on the verge of tears because I was like, I'm so close to my mom. She's on the other side of that door and I can't get to it because yeah. I have to sit here. So they walked around. I just watched my passport go from one person to the next, to the next, yeah. to the next, all over the airport. <laughs> it's a risk. The country is at risk. High risk. High risk country. So um, if you come with a Lebanese passport, they need more proof. So they had to go grab my mom bring her passport, bring her in. We had to go through an interview process. Mm -hmm. Literally took a whole hour. So we got to hug and cry just all in camera. front of all the officers. They wouldn't let us film anything. <laughs> anyway, after we got through that mess, we were exhausted. It's been a lot of fun. It was great to reunite with my brother. It's been seven years, almost eight basically. My mom, 18 years. It's It was an amazing time. I'm thankful to have this opportunity. I'm thankful to have Jared here with me experiencing this, um, this journey with me it was honestly it's gotten a lot better than i ever thought the fact that i haven't seen them in 18 years or her in 18 years and my brother seven years the day i saw them it felt like no time has gone by yeah. it felt like we can just talk about anything just another day in life it was it was crazy it was phenomenal but i hope you guys enjoyed the video comment below like and subscribe let me know what you guys thought this is more just like a getting to know you getting yeah getting to know me getting to see my family for yeah. the first time um I've just enjoyed it. I've had a, I've had a blast, and I'm I'm very thankful and very happy. Yeah. So thank you, thank you for watching, thank you for supporting, and stay tuned for uh, round two, video number two. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys. Thanks.